Now we want to understand projectiles and we want to understand kinematic graphs. So let's have a look at projectile graphs. All right, so let's plot a nice projectile here. So there's y <coughs> and here's x. <coughs> so this is not a time a kinetics graph yet. This is just a, a drawing of the motion. And here's our projectile given an initial velocity like that. So we know what it's going to do. It's going to go in a parabolic trajectory like that. And we can think about it. It all points along the trajectory. It's always moving with a velocity sort of pointing along the way. So this should be dipped down a little bit. And up here, the velocity is like that. And down there, the velocity is like that. And down here, the velocity is like that. So those are all velocities. We could think about what's the acceleration vector look like in every case. In every case, the acceleration vector A gets down because the only acceleration, the only force being applied to this object is gravity in this case because it's a projectile. So it's always accelerating down the whole time. All right. So now let's see if we can translate this trajectory to the standard kinematics graphs. Let's look at um, position time. All right. Well, there's actually two. There's position time in the x and position time in the y. So let's do both of them together. Time and, oh, what do I want on top? Let's say x. x on top and y down below. Uh, let's see, what is the x position as a function of time? As it flies through the air, if you imagine, I'll have my finger on the trajectory, but imagine down here's the x position. All right. The x position is just uniformly increasing. You also know that because the, in the x direction, it has an independent, or it has a constant velocity. There's no acceleration in the x direction. In the y direction, let's think, what is the y doing as a function of time? Uh, and then it's coming back down. All right. So actually, the y versus time looks just like the y versus x, because right? x is linear with time. So, so it goes up in y, and it comes back down in time. Also makes a parabola. We could get into parametric formulas, but what's the point? OK, so that's the position versus time. So y is the one with acceleration, x is the one without. Let's look at velocity time graph. Let's see. And again, we have two dimensions, um, vx uh, component and vy. And let's see, what's going to happen here? Vx is a constant value, and it's positive, right, because it's pointing that way. So it doesn't change. No acceleration, constant. Everything's fine. Right? What's the slope of this line at all points? It's the same. It's a constant. The y velocity is a little more complicated. We start out with a, with a value. It's moving up. It's positive, positive. At the apex is where y velocity is 0. That's the highest it gets. And it goes negative. Right? So I wasn't thinking when I drew my graph, was I? We start out with some y velocity up here, and it just goes linearly down, right? Because it's a constant acceleration. So it goes down like this. And this should be at the center, right? It should cross the center. That is the apex. I didn't quite get it centered. Let's see, but I've already taken the AP exam, so it's okay. Uh, now let's take the acceleration time graph. Oops. The acceleration time in a x versus time and a y versus time. Now, if you want to in your notes, try to do these before me. That is fine. I'm not going to pause. But feel free to beat me. Let's see. Acceleration versus time in the x direction. And these are always the origin, by the way. I'm not labeling the origin, but I mean the origin. Therefore, since it is 0, it's right here along this line. Right. There is Ax versus time. There is no acceleration in the x because there is no force in the x. 
And finally, the acceleration in the y versus time. I blew it again, didn't I? Put the origin in the lower left. What is the acceleration? It's down. It's negative if we think about its component. We have a negative y acceleration, so I'll leave that the origin. I'll put this here. I'll bring the line down like that, and I'll put the acceleration versus y plot down here. There it is. I'll clean that up, I promise. But there we go. So that's good practice. If you think you really understand position time graphs, do them for a projectile. Maybe you could even go and do them for an uneven projectile, see what happens.